said, now where I want to sit. Okay, it is Saturday. Lots on the agenda today. And by lots, I mean two things. The first is to see Barbie, which is very important. The second is to go paddle boarding. As we've mentioned, that's my entire personality now, so. We are now going to, I gotta figure out where we're gonna go, because we wanna go somewhere that's more, like, cool than our small pond we've been practicing in. And so we wanna go to like an actual lake. I gotta put a pickaxe in my hand and put me in an old west town. With, <laughs> the, with the hat. With the bucket hat? Oh. oh. But you have the life jacket too. This is great. park and we are going to another one because we found out you can't paddle board here which was not clear online so headed to our second park but we know we can paddle board at this one so it's been an adventure we're eating <laughs> we're snacking we brought we brought dinner stuff Caleb brought dinner stuff that he made for us like we're, we got our water fruit bag we're all set we got lots of new goodies so we're headed that way he got a bucket hat I had to take the parking brake off. On the lake. That's Dirk. There he is. Hey, be careful. He look at it. Nice. start work. There's a Nashville coffee shop called Elegy Coffee. They have, I think, the best cold brew in town. And so they made this limited edition one with a band that I didn't even realize this was local. This happens a lot. In Nashville, you'll like, like music and then you'll be like, oh, they live down the street from me. This band called Greta Van Fleet, they're really good. They're very like Led Zeppelin-esque. And they, I've liked them for a while. I have had a lot of their songs saved on my Spotify but I never realized they were local until this collaboration. So I just love all of my adventures involve cool coffee escapades. So, um, LG Coffee, my favorite cold brew, amped up their cold brew a little bit and made like a special edition for the release of this album, which is called Starcatcher. And so it's charcoal, it, they added charcoal and edible glitter. You know I'm here for it, it's black and glitter. Like, obviously I went to pick that up on Saturday, so. Anyway, it's really good. It tastes exactly the same as their normal cold brew. It's just cold brew, but <laughs> it's just their honey bear cold brew with like a little zhuzh, a little charcoal and glitter added in there. So it's really good anyway. So humid. I don't even know if I can shoot this clip. <laughs> My way to meet a friend at coffee and I'm going to work from there for a little bit. I'm going to probably on my way back get a plant sad news my strawberries did not make it the strawberries that i've been trying to grow for the past like month and a half 
they finally bit the dust. I, they really held on for a long time, but they just never produced fruit. So I'm going to try and find like either like a zucchini or just something I can grow in a pot. Just another thing I can grow in a pot to replace them. And tonight you really need to weed the bed that all of my pot are in because they are just filled it's filled with tons of weeds so I'm going to go get coffee I'm gonna come get a plant on my way back and then when I get home and finish up work I'm going to weed that bed and work in the garden some so hopefully it won't be a million degrees outside Hi, I have been working at 1819 Coffee, which is one of my favorites, and I am about to head out. Looks like it's supposed to rain a little bit, which might cool things down nicely before I'm working in the yard. I am going to try and see if I can find a plant to replace my strawberry plant. I want a vegetable, but I'm not sure where I'll be able to find one. I was hoping I'd be able to find one locally, but I'm not seeing many options for that, so I might end up going to Home Depot to see if they have other veggies available. So then I'm gonna go home and try and weed this bed and try and plant, potentially replant that pot where my strawberries, RIP, were living. So um, I'm gonna leave 1819 now and I'm gonna head and do that. So. I just went and had breakfast with Caleb because he's working in Nashville this morning and I work in the office on Tuesdays. So we met up, or he's working in Nashville all day. We met up this morning for breakfast and I'm about to head into the office and then tonight we're going to a concert. So that should be a lot of fun. It's Ann Wilson from Heart, um, like the 80s band, which is one of Caleb's favorite bands. It's had a really good breakfast at Heart's. It's a Australian coffee shop slash breakfast brunch place and they have really good food and really good coffee so after work now I just grabbed some coffee at Poindexter Coffee I've never been there I went it's in one of the hotels the graduate hotel in Nashville and I've just never wanted to pay for parking and I've never had the time to like look for non-paid parking um, if you're from here it's kind of a point of pride to not pay for parking so I was super convinced I was gonna get a ticket though because there's no one else parked here and I really thought that I was gonna get a ticket but <laughs> I decided to risk it and I did not get a ticket, so this is the spot to park if you're going to go to Poindexter Coffee, apparently. So I will keep this in mind for the future. Got a Cuban, it's pretty good. Um, I'm about to head over to the venue, which is Brooklyn Bowl, Nashville, and we're gonna meet over there. Um, I'm not sure about food yet. We've decided I think we're gonna eat there and 
just so that we can find get a good spot at the venue because it's standing room only and so that can be a little tricky because sometimes you gotta wait in line and that's frustrating <laughs> It is so humid that there's like sweat on the inside of our doors and I want like our house doors and I want to die. I'm headed to work and so I was gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. We had so much fun at in Wilson last night. It was so good. It was a really cool show to be a part of. So I was glad to be there. I am just headed to work now. So I'm gonna wrap up this few days of my life and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a leg up in the algorithm by subscribing, commenting, or liking this video, and I will see you next time.